Hi guys, welcome back to Learning English and Literature. In this video, I will explain grammatical names and functions, a part of the comprehension process of English language paper one, essay writing. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and let's reach a wider audience. Okay, this is paper one, the essay writing. Question G is the question that concerns grammatical names and functions. They will give you an expression, which is a part of a sentence, and they will ask you to state the grammatical name, then the function. Question GI carries one mark for just the grammatical name, then question GII carries two marks. Remember, even if you get the grammatical name correctly, but you fail the spelling, you're going to lose half a mark. Even if you get the function correctly and you make any mechanical error, you are going to lose half a mark. So just be careful, you have to be precise and accurate. In this video, I will explain only adverbs. I will take adverbial phrase and clause together because we already know what a phrase is and also what a clause is. An adverb is a word that gives you more information about a verb. It tells you when the action took place, why the action took place, how the action took place, how many times the action took place. So adverbs, it tells you more about the action. Number one, we have adverbs of time. This adverb tells you when an action took place. And it's introduced with words such as when, after, as soon as, before, whenever, while, now, then, since, and many others. For example, he traveled to Joss after the interview. The words in italics is for you to decide if it's a phrase or a clause. Now here, it's a phrase. So you write it, the phrase. Now, what is this phrase telling you about the sentence? It's giving you more information about the time the person traveled. So what gives you more information about an action? It's an adverb. So you say adverb. Adverbial phrase of time. Remember? This one carries one mark, okay? If you make any spelling error here or anywhere, you lose half a mark. The second question, what is the function? The function of an adverb is to modify a verb. So, modifies the verb. Now we look for the verb in the full sentence here, travel. Very simple, you have your three marks intact. So let's look at question F, when he entered the building. This is the expression. The first thing you do is to find out if this is a phrase or a clause. Now, this is a clause. Watch my video to learn more about phrases and clauses. This is a clause, and you see it's been introduced by the word when, which tells you about the time. Now we have to go back to the passage to see or to find the function of this expression here. The staff were already there, and when he entered the building, he found his secretary and staff apparently immersed in their assignments with an air of dutifulness. When he entered the building, tells you the time of the action. What happened when he entered the building? He found them immersed. This is the verb here. He found them doing something when he entered. The, by the time he entered the building, they were doing something. You can see they were immersed so you present your answer, adverbial clause of time, it modifies the verb immerse. Adverbs of place, it tells you where the action took place. And they are introduced with words such as where, there. For example, I know where he is hiding. Now, the words in italics is for you to find out if this is a phrase or a clause. So this is a clause, you just write it somewhere. What is the clause here doing in the sentence? It's telling you about an action. It's giving you more information about the verb. What do you know? So we say adverbial plus of place function modifies the verb. No, adverbs of manner. Here it gives you more information about how something happened. Words such as by, as if, as, are used to introduce adverbs of manner. For example, 
she acts as if she owns the company. Here, it gives, the expression here gives you more information about how she behaves or how she acts. The words in italics is for you to find out if it's a phrase or a clause. So the first thing you do is to find out if this is a phrase or a clause. Of course, this is a clause. So you just write it somewhere. Clause, what is this clause doing in the sentence? It's giving you more information about the action of the lady, how she behaves. So, adverbial clause of manner. It modifies the verb act. Very simple. Adverbs of reason. Here, it gives, it tells you why something happened. It gives you the reason why an action took place. And you use words such as because, why, so that, that, in order to, so, to introduce the expression. For example, he left because of you. This is a phrase, okay? This is a phrase. And the phrase here is telling you why he left. I gave you all my money so she could go for her medical trip. This expression is a clause. And the expression here is giving you is telling you why he gave him or why the person gave him all his money. It states the reason why the action took place. So the words here in italics is a clause. So the first thing you do is just to indicate that it's a clause. So you write clause. What is this clause doing in this sentence? It's giving you reasons why the person performed an action. So a very clause of reason. This is the grammatical name. Do not forget that. It modifies the verb. Give. Simple. Three marks in the back. Adverbs of condition. Here, it tells you that for something to happen, something else must have happened. It gives a condition before something happens. That means before something would happen, something else must have happened. If that thing does not happen, this thing you're expected to happen will not happen. Okay, you use words such as until, if, unless, provided to introduce the expressions. The policeman will not let us go unless you grease his palm. For the policeman to perform an action, you must perform another action. Before the policeman will let us go, you must bribe him. You're expecting the policeman to perform an action, but before he does that, you also must perform an action. So the first thing you do is to look at the words in italics and find out if it's a phrase or a clause. Here it's a clause because it has both a subject and a verb, you and Greece. What's the function of this clause in the sentence? The policeman will not let us go unless you grease his palm. The expression is telling you that if something does not happen, the policeman will not let us go. It's giving you a condition for the policeman to let us go. Adverbial clause. Function, it modifies the verb go, okay? If you do not know whether it's an adverb of time, adverb of place, adverb of reason, condition, concession, frequency, okay? I know I skipped those. If you do not know the type of adverb, just state adverbial phrase or adverbial clause and you will not lose any mark, okay? I guess that's good news. Let's look at some past question papers and see if we can make an attempt. Okay, look at question G. Not long after the governor's official proclamation. Here, the first thing you do is to find out if this is a phrase or a clause. Now, this is a phrase. You write it phrase, then you go back to the passage and read not long after the governor's official proclamation. It's telling you about the time an action took place. So you already know because of the word, not long. Even the word after is giving you more information. It's telling you the time something happened, okay? So not long after the governor's official pro proclamation, you've gotten the adverbial um, phrase of time. Now, what is the function? You now trace Bef after the governor's official proclamation, what happened? The news reporters had a few days speculating 
So your answer must be, present, must be presented thus. Adverbial phrase of time. It modifies the verb speculating. Very easy three marks in the back. Thank you very much. I said, wish you the best in the forthcoming examinations. In my next video, I will discuss adjectival phrase, relative clause, and prepositional phrase.